Or even months after JSW, MG Motors announced to the world that they want to create a Maruti-like moment in India's automotive history again. Uh, the CEO Emeritus, Mr. Rajiv Chaba, is now joining us to take his plans forward. Although there are certain things that we will not be able to get to know right now. But yes, it's our job to ask him. Thank you, uh, Mr. Chaba, for speaking to us on Business Today TV. Uh, sir, you know, uh, I'll start by talking about the numbers in the first place. You know, uh, a little bit decline in the sales. But yes, uh, the EV numbers are looking very positive as far as the ZS EV and the Comet goes. Uh, how are you positioning those two vehicles? Because the 10 to 20 lakh segment is not what you are very strong about right now. How are you looking at those sales numbers, especially in the IC vehicles also, sir? So I think it's pretty interesting that <clears throat> in the last quarter, um, which is the first quarter of this new financial year, uh, the industry growth has been at the rate of 2 two to 3 percent. And our pace also is more or less the same, 2 to 3 percent. But our EVs have grown up by 35 percent. <laughs> so our Comet and ZS EV have contributed uh, to this growth. And, and, and typically the uh, typically, the segment for EV in India is between 10 lakhs and 20 lakhs. Mm. But both these cars are outliers. ZS EV is above 20 lakhs uh, and, and uh, Comet is below 10 lakhs. Uh, so, both are very uniquely positioned. Uh, they bring different things to the table. So, I would say the offer is pretty compelling to the consumer. The range is very uh, true. It's a true range, dependable and, and trustworthy range what people are getting from the batteries here. And also the Consumers, uh, uh, the users of these cars have become our brand ambassadors, especially on Comet, it's a tribe, it's a Comet tribe now which is developing. So the cars are really good, so so that's how we are doing well. So we have uh, uh, beat the trend actually uh, and, uh, and we feel the growth is still continuing. So as an example, every month, June, our sales of EV was better than May. So this will, this will probably, July should be better than June for us. All right, so uh, you know, uh, uh, I'd like to ask you, with the 10 to 20 lakh segment, uh, there have been various reports on, you know, the new EV coming in from the House of MG Motors during the festive season. I know you can't divulge much details, but could you give us, give us, give our viewers some hint of what's really coming up in the market about any powertrain or any, any anything that you could tell us, sir? So our new car uh, is a very nuanced version of SUV, if I can call it. So it's, it gives you a comfort of a sedan uh, and the look uh, and the ground and the ground clearance and the and the driver position of an SUV. So it's a great combination of sedan and um, and an SUV, and it comes with a great connected and smart features. So it's a smart or intelligent uh, CUV, as we will call it. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, so so. So it will be a it will be a car below twenty lakhs. Mm. So first time we are getting into that segment now, mm. you know, and uh, it it should be a very interesting offer, uh, and and we are pretty excited about it, uh, and hopefully in the next few weeks we'll start uh, talking about it in the media. All right, and also uh, you know, uh, creating about that Martha like moment created a lot of headlines all over India when you mentioned that. I would like to ask you, uh, you know, what are the plans after that, sir? Every Are we on the same track of delivering a new vehicle every two to three months or every quarter? Is that the plan right now? So, this was not my line, frankly. Sure. Mr. Sajan Jindal sure, talked sure, about sure. it. Yeah. And Mr. Sajan Jindal uh, talked about this Maruti moment because he believes that we have the potential to uh, to 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 uh, democratize EV in such a way that it becomes like... Uh, you know, uh, the old Maruti movement when they launched Maruti 800. So that that is his philosophy and vision and yeah, so it is his uh, mm -hmm. quote, I would say. Mm -hmm. um, uh, first job of our joint venture is to ensure that uh, our capacity expansion happens and we get approval of new products. Mm -hmm. And this is what we are focused on right now. So as we speak, our expansion and the plan to work has already started in Halol, in mm -hmm. Baroda. Mm -hmm. And and we already got approvals of five products mm -hmm. in such a short time. Two are going to be uh, premium products and three are the mass products. So mm -hmm. in such a short time of a JV, we have already got approval of five products. So we are moving at a very fast pace and more and more approval we will see as we go forward. So I'm I'm... I'm hoping that before the end of this year, we should get approval of another couple or three products. Sure, sure. Also, towards my last set of questions, sir, uh, you know, there, there's been discussions on the EV versus uh, hybrids debate. Uh, the EV is now enjoying a 5% uh, GST on, uh, on EVs on GST, but uh, the hybrids are, you know, the tax structure is a bit worrying for the consumers as well. Uh, there are reports that you might also get into uh, hybrids. Uh, so, 
what is your view on hybrids so the tax structure and the demand how well do you think is it in sync or in correlation right now or there are scope of improvements sir see i think we are getting uh, uh, we are we are moving as per the government direction the government wanted us to uh, want wants the industry to move fast on the ev side and that's what we have been doing as you know that we are one of the first ones to bring ev in the country that is ev and we are bringing the third ev uh, ours even right now uh, 40% of our sales uh, in our company is happening of ev so we are moving in that direction now hybrid there are various hybrids so we need to understand the definition of a hybrid there are mild hybrids there are strong hybrids there are plug in hybrids really strong hybrids you know so so we need to get, understand the technicality of the hybrids what really is good on the tailpipe or how it improves the fuel efficiency uh, whether it really moves as an electric vehicle or not so i think based on that the government has to decide okay. only thing is my request would be that whatever government has to decide has to be a stable policy for the next 5 10 years based on that policy you know the oems can decide can decide whatever is good and whatever they want to uh, bring but because in our industry it's a very capital intensive mm -hmm. and the gestation period for any technology is high we need time to implement uh, so so i think this is what only my request would be that stable long term policies uh, and give us time to implement uh, rest our company is a multinational company and then we have all kind of technologies we can bring in whatever government uh, government says or what are the consumers want based on that we can do it sure also you know dealerships are complaining about a 60000 crore rupee inventory pile up how how real how the situation is real on the ground and are you affected by the piling up inventory or because many experts have spoken to say it's a temporary phenomena the uh, you know the they say that this inventory will get sold out by the time the festive season comes so are you uh, worried about it or is it fine i think you have also you have you have answered it in your question uh, right uh, uh, see the last quarter was a tough quarter you know the the sales improved sales But went up only by 2 to 3% and due to various reasons and and seasonally also is the is 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 a is a low quarter uh, uh, so and because of that and also because the capacities of the oems have gone up the targets have gone up the ambitions have gone up and the people pumped the cars to the dealers so frankly dealers are genuinely suffering from the inventory across the industry as well as in mg uh, good news in mg is that again 60 65 days of inventory in others our inventory is 35 days 40 days still is more than 30 days you know so we want to bring it down to 30 days so we are trying to help the dealers so actually i have full empathy for the dealers in general uh, across the industry we are very mindful of such issue in mg and and we are trying our best to take it out to to, to have some measures to liquidate this inventory but yes scene will improve uh, you know because uh, because of the upcoming festivals and good good periods monsoon is good uh, consumers are willing to spend the money so fundamentals have remained strong mm. so i think the situation will improve in the next few months so but this is a transition this is a tough phase which we right. need to uh, we need to be shoulder but to shoulder but many oems are starting getting discounts on uh, sold to give out their inventory is that a good move uh, to to give out the inventory again, again unfortunately uh, this is what happens uh, in our industry from time to time mm. uh, you know when when you have high stock it becomes old or uh, high age stock uh, more stock high age stock mm. you know and, and and they have to pay inventory to uh, inventory cost to the financiers so obviously you you keep coming out with the various schemes depending on the aging of the model or depending on what challenges do you have in a particular lineup so i think unfortunately this is part of auto game. industry uh -huh. and and part of the game and we have to do it but uh, yeah it's avoidable uh, sure. you know we all know it should not happen this way but uh, certain things are there and we need to take actions to liquidate and help our dealers honorable mr chaba pleasure is always to speak to you thank you so much well that was mr chaba canada is always uh, talking about how the continuity in policy should be maintained and of course do watch out for the new car from the house of mg motors and gsw if you like the video do like comment share and subscribe